Hello, Whovians. This is your Commodore, Ty Coles here, reviewing the steaming pile of shit that was Revolution of the Daleks. And I'm not the only one that hated this episode. There are thousands of people that hated this show. Why was the rating so piss poor if it was good? You would have had a bunch of us saying, hey, check it out. It's worth watching. And But instead, we're bashing the shit out of it. Here's some words from Nerdrotic. Nerdrotic.com. Beyond belief, but what Chris Chibnall decided to do in the first episode since the franchise crushing Timeless Children is to call back to some of the worst episodes, worst moments in the worst era of Doctor Who. Well, if I was a fan of this show in its current state, I would give myself a wedgie and throw myself into a trash can. Written by Chris Chibnall, no shit, because this episode's got awful, and featuring Jodie Whittaker's Doctor. This uh, special New Year's Day special is a continuation from the episode The Timeless Children. Really? A Star Wars intro? When we get the title sequence, I think all it's missing is drop the beat. We start off with going the doctor destroying a Dalek. Now we see what happened after they left, after they destroyed the Dalek. Uh, that the damaged casing was in transportation to a government facility, but it was in, intercepted while it was heading there. <laughs> Businessman Jack Robertson, uh, portrayed by Chris Noff, um, who is better known for Detective Logan in Law and Order. <laughs> decided to use Dalek parts to create defensive drones that resemble Daleks to suppress the public. <laughs> Graham and Ryan meet Yaz at the TARDIS they returned in, which is an actual working TARDIS. Maybe that's just wanted us to be able to follow her, to find her, because she needed us. I'm going to work it out. I must be able to work it out. It can actually disguise itself, and it's properly function. And when you look inside of it, it actually looks like the old version of the uh, TARDIS back when in the classic Who with the first, second, third, and fourth Doctor. And they're trying to, f so they're in the tar a new working TARDIS, and they're trying to figure out where the hell the Doctor is. Graham finds some leaked videos of the defense drones. Really the planet, right? Look, this is leaked online footage. So far, it's just meh. maybe if I saw the other epi more episodes of Jody, uh, Doctor, but who actually watched Jody, Doctor? We figure out that the Doctor has been imprisoned. The only two good things of this episode so far are the uh, brief cameos of the Weeping Angel, which gives you a great uh, jump scare, and seeing the silence. Oh, 
she eventually meets um, um, Doctor Who alum Captain Jack, who who he learned about her arrest and committed a series of crimes in order to rescue her. And we can see how piss poor Jodie Whittaker's doctor is when she can't even get chemistry with a Captain Jack, who has always had good chemistry with all the other doctors, but her. They spend a minimal amount of time together on screen because it really does show how bad she is. So they break out of prison and the doctor rejoins her companions and they learn about the new Dalek threat. Leo uh, discovers organic cells in the Dalek remnants and clones the cells into a living creature. Yeah, unless you've been living under a rock, you knew the Daleks, it was just the shell contained this hideous creature inside of it. So we enter the uh, Freddy Krueger-like boiler room. And... But before he can get his work done, the creature escapes and can takes control of his mind and body, kind of like how the face huggers do in Alien. So now, under the controls of the Daleks, Leo goes to Osaka, Japan, where you just expect to see Godzilla rise from the waters. He's then grew, growing clone, Dalek clones in a facility reminiscent of Borg design. You could easily see this being a part of a Borg vessel. We are the Borg. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. And then we have Patterson, elected Prime Minister of the UK. And she requests Robertson increase drone production. So to wrangle in the wild people that want freedom. Now the Dalek uh, clones take over the, the defensive drones and they start exterminating the humans, including assassinating the new Prime Minister Patterson. Oh, great. We thought she was going to be an interesting character. Someone that the Doctor could be having many rivals against. And she's instantly killed. So, the Doctor, in her brilliance, decides to... Send an SOS to the Daleks, and not any Daleks, and and I quote her in her own words, the SS of Daleks. That they will eliminate any impurities. They represent the purity of Daleks. So we have the. Human hybrid Daleks versus the pure Daleks. But this is a very Chibnall ending. While we didn't have an arbitrary countdown clock, we had some magical bullshit thing happen in the end to finally solve the problem very quickly and very neatly. Um, and the pure Daleks exterminate the, the human counterfeit Daleks. <laughs> And now, so instead of having the human copyright Daleks, we have SS Daleks. So 
You replace one Dalek threat with another Dalek threat. How brilliant is that? This plan sounds like something you'd see in a Simpsons episode. But isn't that a bit short-sighted? What happens when we're overrun by lizards? No problem. We simply unleash wave after wave of Chinese needle snakes. They'll wipe out the lizards. But aren't the snakes even worse? Make peace with the do the pure Daleks. And exposes the doctor's plan. You rock my train, you rock the team! Jack, I have some other information. The signal that brought you here? Explain! First, I want to meet who's in charge here. But even with knowing the doctor's plan, she still wins. By luring the Daleks into the working TARDIS, the one that actually functions properly, and imploding it on itself. Why wouldn't you sacrifice your TARDIS and keep the TARDIS that works? We are off to the very long goodbye of Graham and Ryan. And we end up how we see them end like they started. With one not knowing how to ride a bike. And the other one showing them how. I watched this with LDG and a few others and we just couldn't take it seriously. It was a joke. An other joke. And you know what happened? The ratings for this are epic low like this has sunk to a whole new low for Doctor Who and guess what happened almost a couple days later the news broke that Jodie's leaving Doctor Who they're saying oh she's just doing it like because oh the doctors only stay for three seasons and they pass it over but the timing is so coincidental that you have one of the worst showings ever no let me rephrase that the worst showing ever in a doctor who special and then a few days later the star says that they're quitting the show so this is it uh for my first doctor who uh, review i can't believe i picked this one but because it was well known and recent and some huge news came out after the fact. I just felt like I needed to do it. So for your Commodore Ty Coles, live long and prosper. Hailing frequencies close. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, watch one of my other videos, and if you can show your support by donating to my PayPal. So for Commodore Ty, live long and prosper. For now, until next time, the hailing frequencies are closed.